About Me Boxes, from the Advocates in Action Leadership Series Class of 2021. Meet 2021 class member, Vin Mancini. Please note, this is part two of Vin's video. Questions and- So that's it, that's my About Me box. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone not have any questions? <laughs> Well, I, <laughs> oh my gosh, Ben. I, Jeez, we could spend three hours unpacking this. Oh my gosh, Jason, go ahead. What do you well, got? I just want to say it's actually it's not a really a question. It's more of a statement. I yeah. I just want to yeah. say that I just want to say that was absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Thank you. All of it. And um the medicine pouch. Uh, I also have a I would say I have a pretty um so I also have an interest in Native American art and spirituality. So that was that was a particular highlight for me. The whole thing was wonderful. Yeah. So I just wanted to say that that was excellent. Yeah. Thank you. And that's the beauty of these about me boxes is it shows us that we have so much in common. You know, yeah. we're not so different from each other. So right. that's that's pretty cool that you said that, Jason. That's awesome. Yeah. Matt. Yeah, um, I just want to say I'm absolutely happy for you about the, uh, the award that you got over there in England, and the painting really touched touched a lot. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like your medicine pouch, too. That nice. is cool. That means a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Again, that was great, and I, I love that painting. Um, <laughs> I was really interested about um, how you are living in England. I've never been, and I was wondering if you had any um, like main things that stuck out to you as similarities or differences compared to America. Uh, quite a few, actually. You know, there's so much has happened since I, I moved there. And one of the most impactful things was 9-11. So that happened about three months after we got there. Uh, that was just, as you all know, you know, terrible. One of the things was having difficulty contacting people after 9-11. You know, the phone lines were down or jammed. It's a really strange thing when you're unable to communicate with your loved ones. Yeah. For the longest time, we didn't have the, you know, we didn't have things like FaceTime or Facebook um, or Messenger, you know, video, video conferencing, well before Zoom and all that didn't have any of those options available. So that was, that was, a, that was a personal thing, I, I think, more than anything else. I think culturally, you know, I was always an Anglophile growing up. You know, I loved all British music and I was fascinated by the culture, watched a lot of British programming. When I moved there, I thought, you know, this is going to be like a piece of cake. It'd be like my second home. And I had visited so many times with Haley. But, you know, when you get there and you see that, the intricacies when it comes to culture and society you know they're kind of small but they they do make a difference i think there's a lot of things that i wish i could take back here especially now because having moved back it's not the place i left things have changed dramatically and not necessarily in a good way and the other thing i think i need to i need to say is about healthcare ever having to worry about healthcare or being bankrupted or ha you know it may it makes your life completely different I'm not trying to be political here. I'm yeah, just saying yeah, that no, no. fact, as humans, yeah, that was a big thing. Peace, you have a question? It was more of a comment, actually. My favorite part of him presenting the, the briefcase was actually him describing the briefcase and the importance of it. Mm. But it showed me the kind of character Vin has as a person. And, you know, his curiosity led him to so many cool places in his life. No, that was awesome. Yeah, and that that's an extremely insightful observation. Yeah, and I, I love that you said that you are you were intrigued by the briefcase because obviously this briefcase carries a lot of intrigue <laughs> because yeah. Ben was also intrigued when yeah. he was younger by yeah. what is in that briefcase. Like yeah. it's just a, a thing of mystery. That whole yeah. that whole story was just yeah. absolutely fantastic. I love that. Your dad gave it to you. That's how yeah. many siblings do you have? I have three. Oh. Three. Okay. 
So yeah. you got the briefcase though. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you know, it's what it represents. At least that's what I got from it. What did you find in it when you got it from your dad? A bottle of leather restorer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's how it's lasted so long. It's a greatly made briefcase. <laughs> And I think when you look at, you know, parents and, you know, there's so much, I don't know, you just look up to them. They're the, they're the yeah. most powerful people and that means so much to you. And they, they, you know, you have a high regard. They're like your, your superheroes in a way. I think back about what he, you know, probably carried in the briefcase, reports and, yeah. um, you know, some documents, but also his lunch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you just think, yeah. So my dad was just like me, really, in a lot of ways. Yeah. But, you know, that, that, that feeling of, you know, your parents are your heroes still doesn't yeah. diminish that. It just makes it more like, well, I, I could probably be a hero too then, you know? Yeah. So like, I, I know what you mean with your, your dad. Um, my dad totally always was my superhero. He passed four years ago. But before he did, um, before he even knew that he was sick, he passed on to me the dictionary <laughs> like we had a dictionary and it was like this thing I mean it's it weighs like 15 pounds I mean it's a dictionary that dictionary was such a central part of our house and I actually have a picture of him handing it to me That's so like I got the I got the dictionary like you got the briefcase and it's it's such a just a, a symbol of that that hero ship set. that really touched me when you talked about that briefcase and the intrigue it was just amazing when we can actually all meet in person i'd love to show you something that i got from my dad it's a briefcase and oh. it has a whole bunch of stuff from like when he was in the fire department in the same fire department that i'm on tonight oh that's awesome yeah yeah well my my dad was a writer so i have some of his oh. actual writing that's where you oh. get your ability to have the right word at the right time, Jason. See, it's yeah. passed down that, well, that hero thank status. You. It passes from one generation to the thank next. You. Vin, I think that your box probably um, created more conversation. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, everyone's boxes have been wonderful. They've all been wonderful. wonderful. Yeah, but I, I, I think, I think uh, this one is the most. Uh, emotionally yeah impactful i guess yeah. not to say that eddie was is it but... you missed you missed some of the others because you haven't yeah. seen all of them because some of them have really have been quite emotional yeah this is probably one of the deepest yeah. and you know i always think that of you then you are one of the deepest people i know i have one last question how old are your sons now 21 and 25 oh okay all right yeah uh yeah. liam will be 22 in November and yep. Indy turned 25 last May. Oh, okay. All right. Yep. Thank oh, so that God that now the communication is so much easier. I know. Yeah. Because yes. across the ocean, you can still keep in touch like face to face almost. Yeah. We do a family chat every other week. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> on a Wednesday. So yeah. me and Liam, Indy, and Haley. Yeah. We all meet and we. Because Liam's in film school, uh, we decided that we would each choose a film yeah. and then watch it and then come back and talk about it. That's uh, awesome. Yeah. That is wonderful. Oh my gosh. Are your kids as deep as you? Yes. That's not surprising. They have a lot of empathy. They have mm. a lot of um, care and concern for others, especially Liam. He's, he, he can't stand injustice. Here's another question for you. Is your ex-wife over there or over here? She's over there. Wow. Yeah, she's English. So about Liam and the, the level of empathy, mm. it's been a tough couple of years for yes. really empathetic people. It's almost torturous for those with a high level of empathy because there's so much going on. There's so much pain. There's so much struggle. Um, and you have to be really careful to not carry it all on you because you right. can't do everything you can't help everybody so and that i totally of, get that one of the reasons why we decided to do something completely away from current events or yeah. our our own problems and issues yeah. and that's with the films just to yes you know uh, liam's in film school and we critique each film and talk mm -hmm. about it and yeah. it's a great thing and most of the time that's all we talk about i like how awesome. you guys go over the films well while you're in your family meeting. Yeah, it's great. 
I love that. I got to yeah. tell you, round of applause for Ben. Yeah, that was wonderful. <laughs> that, was, that was, oh my gosh. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing yes. your box and your life. I mean, that was that was fantastic. I don't know how Deb's going to edit this because we legit spent over a half an hour <laughs> on this one, but it was worth it. We'll have to do a part one and part two. Yeah, right. <laughs> that was amazing. That actually made my day. So thank you so much. Visit our website to find out more about our next leadership series class and learn how to make your own About Me box. www.advocatesinaction.org <laughs>